um, this, this Oscar. Wow! <laughs> Yet another round of Oscar statues were awarded at the 87th Annual Academy Awards, and we're bringing you a recap of some of the most memorable speeches. Today's news feed is brought to you by Xfinity, the future of awesome. Welcome to Clever's Trophy Life, where we keep you in the know on all of the must-see moments all award show season long. Arguably one of the best parts of the Oscars are the tear-jerking and sometimes witty acceptance speeches, and we're about to dish on some of this year's best acceptance speech moments at the 87th Annual Oscars. You say that Selma is now because the struggle for justice is right now. John Legend and Common gave a very profound speech about the injustices still present in the U.S., including the fact that there are more black men under correctional control today than were in slavery in 1850. They also spoke on the fact that today we are still fighting for the same freedoms Dr. King marched for over 50 years ago. Earlier on in the night, it was J.K. Simmons who took home an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for his performance in Whiplash, but the most memorable moment was when he stressed that everybody should give their parents a call and emphasized making an actual phone call instead of sending a text message. Give those thumbs a rest, you guys. Another noteworthy acceptance speech moment was from the winner of Best Foreign Film from Poland from the film Ida. This was Poland's first Oscar win ever, and of course, if you were winning an Oscar for the first time, you'd be super excited too and want to thank everyone and their mama. Well, we all know that if you talk too long at these things, the orchestra will kindly tell you to shut up by playing a bunch of music really loudly, but the lucky winner did not get the memo and talked all the way through the music until the point where they actually had to start the music up again. But hey, he got to say everything he wanted. Julianne Moore was also the source of an entertaining acceptance speech when she won the Leading Actress Oscar for her work in Still Alice. Julianne started off on a funny note, telling the audience that she read an article that said winning an Oscar could add five more years to someone's life. She noted that if that's true, she would like to thank the Academy because her husband is younger than her. A great moment for sure. She then took time to recognize those with Alzheimer's and sympathize with one of Still Alice's filmmakers who could not be in attendance due to his health complications with ALS. Another tearjerker came from Graham Moore, who took home an Oscar for Best Adapted Screenplay for The Imitation Game. Graham tugged on everyone's heartstrings when he confessed that he attempted suicide at the age of 16 due to the fact that he felt different and misunderstood. He then turned his low point into a positive, encouraging anyone who feels the way that he once did to keep pushing on because you do belong and could very well be standing right where he was accepting an Oscar. Bringing a little humor into the room was Alejandro Iñárritu, who took home Oscars for Best Director and Best Picture for Birdman. After a rather risque immigration joke made by presenter Sean Penn, Alejandro responded saying this. Maybe next year the government will inflict some uh, immigration rules to the academy. Two Mexicans in a row, that's suspicious, I guess. The jokes kept on coming when he brought his underwear of choice into the mix. Today, tonight, I am wearing the real Michael Keaton tidy whities Let's just say between his Michael Keaton undies and multiple Oscars, Alejandro was having an awesome night. And finally, it was Eddie Redmayne who stole all of our hearts with his absolutely adorable Best Actor acceptance speech for The Theory of Everything. After making everyone's heart drop with his pure, genuine happiness, Eddie took time to thank his wife and to tell her, quote, we have a new fella coming to share our apartment, referring to his shiny new statue, of course. So many great moments, and we couldn't be happier for all of the winners now, which of these acceptance speeches were your favorites? Be sure to let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to Clever News. And if you've missed any of the award show content, you can click right here to check out the X1 Entertainment Operating System from Xfinity and find out how to never miss a show again. Thanks for checking in with Clever's Trophy Life. I'm Erin Robinson, and I'll see you soon. And click in that video box on the left to see Adina Menzel get her revenge on John Travolta. And click in the video box on the right to see Neil Patrick Harris stripped down in his underwear. Yeah, that happened at the Oscars.